Did you know that it had been like four months since I did a video on Barbie songs? Cause I gotta tell ya, I did not. So it's no wonder I just feel like I've been missing out on all of the joy in my life. It's gone, I've just been in a depressed dark hole because I have no Barbie. Although I did watch the new Barbie movie, but that was only a brief little reprieve from my depression. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is uh, I've enjoyed the Barbie songs I've listened to and I'm excited to listen to some more. We're gonna have songs from a few different Barbie movies so I hope you're ready. Before we start I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear uncensored over there if that's your thing. The link is in the description below. There's also a link for my Discord server there if you wish to join. Come chat to me, come make some friends. The first song is from Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper and it's called If You Love Me For Me. At this point I've listened to two maybe three songs from this movie. It's had quite an interesting sound, so I'm excited, but I don't know who that guy is. Prince, maybe? Oh, is that who like her arranged marriage is with? Was that this movie? He seems so extra. Also immediately, like I said, I think this movie has an arranged marriage in it. This smile, that doesn't really look very sincere. That looks forced, that's like, yeah, cool, play the piano. Is he gonna sing a love song and she's not gonna be into it? This is gonna be awkward if so. She looks sad. Sing, darling. Oh, she's meant to sing. Wait, what? <laughs> he sat down at the piano being like, oh, let's play a song. You're gonna sing. Once alas, met a lad. You're a gentle one, said she. <laughs> I've definitely said this before about this movie, but I love the way that they lean into the aesthetic of the sound given the time period that it's set in. It feels quite authentic, but still grounded, which is wild for a Barbie movie. I'd be glad if you loved me for me. Is the implication there that he doesn't love her for her? And it's that guy. Hope that it will be. He doesn't want them to get along? I'd be sure if I knew that you loved me for me. Oh. This is interesting. And she seemed happy there. She was singing about how she wants to make sure that he loves her for her, but then he also sung the same thing. So is this song like an acknowledgement that their situation sort of sucks and they want to get to know each other as people or something like that? Could I be the one you're seeking? I can't tell if he's certain or not. Unless she does like him, I'm not sure. Truth lies underneath the skin. Okay, I mean, I was kind of expecting this to go in a bit of a sad direction. I thought the title might have been ironic, but I guess it still sort of is, but more in the sense of we should find out if we love each other for each other. The heart that lies within. And I like that he's talking about like things being under the surface. I'll be Whoa, yeah. sorry, I did not realize that that was a cat playing fetch. Love that. Oh my god. Yo. That is, oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my god, their voices are great together. Oh. What was with the sad sigh? Yeah, I couldn't quite grasp what the vibe was there. Especially at the end, like, was that a satisfied, like, ha, ah, this is nice, or was it like, ha? Ah. <laughs> when I saw comments about there being an arranged marriage of sorts, I actually just made the assumption that, like, he was into it and was just like, yeah, give me a princess. <laughs> but that song almost made it seem like they both had the same concerns and were both worried about the dynamic and both wanted to explore it in a meaningful way, not just like marrying for allegiance. Maybe I'm way off the mark or I'm just too hopeful. I just want a happy ending for Barbie, okay? The next song is also from Princess and the Pauper. And I gotta say, uh, I just, I just feel like it's gonna be weird. I don't think I'm ready. It's called The Cat's Meow. Uh, is the cat gonna be singing? Are they gonna be singing about the cat? Will they sing with the cat? Or is the whole song just meows and screeches? I mean, I, I feel like I'd low-key love it if it was. What's wrong, Wolf? What is that sound? <laughs> also, did she, did she call it Wolfie? Are you sick? Something in your throat? 
afraid of. Is that meant to be a meow? Are you trying to meow? Oh, it it can't meow. Whoa! Did it just straight up bark. That is something. What happened to this poor cat? Is it just cursed to bark like a dog or something? Is there a dog out there that's cursed to meow? They swapped voices? Is this like Freaky Friday? I can see it when you're feeling low. You can't Aww. hide that from me. She's singing to cheer up her cat. Status quo calico. So I keep trying to be because you're more than that. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't really think about the fact that the cat's kind of like you know, scruffy. And I guess you'd expect like a royal elegant cat. And while it feels kind of like an insult, it's sort of nice that she's like, stop trying to be something you're not. I wish you could see the you I see. Oh, that's so cute. What the hell? No. Meh. I say, <laughs> if you bark, celebrate it. Oh, she's so sweet. What the hell? She's just like, I don't care if you don't meow. Doesn't mean you should change you. <laughs> Why is this so cute? What the f it's making me feel emotional. I just feel like so often in shows and movies, there's this emphasis on perfection. And a lot of movies might take an angle where like the cat works on itself and improves itself and finally manages to accomplish its goal of meowing. But it's so cute and so wholesome that Barbie's just like, you don't gotta meow, man. Like, just be who you are. I don't mind. I stan her. You should change your point of view. Princess Annalise? Hey, Oh. This would make me like fall for someone hard if I heard them. I'm also just realizing now that's the reason the cat was fetching because it's very dog like. I need her to just hype me up all the time. I know you're you. Oh, it's how I know you're you. Oh my god. Trust your nose. Stop, this is making me so happy. Yeah, for real, man, I would like swoon. Oh my god, I just started, I started tearing up a little. <laughs> god, it's just, it's, it's just nice. It's reassuring. It's really, what a wonderful message. Oh my god, dude. This cat's the luckiest thing in the world. Oh. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh my god. What in the f that's one of the cutest things I've ever watched, straight up. Oh my god. And like, I know I'm a grown ass man, but it's having such an impact on me. It's just, it makes me so happy to hear movies have messages like that. It's such a reassuring, lovely perspective. And my god, I appreciate that. So much so that I didn't even really talk about the song or anything. I was just talking about the message. Because that's what just resonated hardcore with me. Oh, I can't, I, I don't think I could say enough good things about that. Now we're taking a shift in movies. To Barbie in a mermaid tale. This song is called Queen of the Waves. I, get, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a mermaid. Whoa, bassy. She's ready, she's steady, she's up on her feet. <laughs> I do beach. <laughs> Wait, she's not a mermaid, she got feet. Dancing on the water to All right, yeah. She's in it. Catchy. She's, it. she's rocking her skills. You know, one thing I, I never really thought I'd hear is an 808 bass hit in a Barbie song. That's, it's amazing. Tearing up the current like a girl's got gills. Oh, like she's got gills. Okay, she's not actually a mermaid. Hang ten, go for a ride. What? Curl, get into the tube. This is so strange and why do I love it? She's the queen of the way. Oh, banging chorus. I thought that they might keep the same rhythm they had before throughout the chorus. And there was a part of me that thought I might not enjoy that as much. But the way they changed that, the overall sound and that melody, mwah, love it. No one's gonna take away her crown. Also, such a good voice, the attitude. <laughs> the bass, man. Why do I love that so much? It's so bare bones until the chorus hits. Stop, it's catchy. I wonder if they'll change the chorus. The 
Oh, are the backing vocals new? I love those filtered echoey vocals. <laughs> I also love that bit, that dude just being like, Her Majesty is shredding it. <laughs> just like I was saying I needed Barbie to follow me around, hyping me up all the time, I need that voice just walking around being like, Matthew is killing it filming these videos. He's editing like a madman. What? How does Barbie still have the capacity to surprise me? Cause the commotion, jump in the ocean. Just cause the commotion, jump in the ocean. Oh man, it's so silly. I love it. Oh. They're adding more. Oh my god. What? The vocals running underneath doing the pre-chorus. Oh, that's so good. What a perfect combination. That's so cool. It harmonizes too. Okay. I'm just gonna say it now. Barbie has no right. It consistently does this to me. And it does it in so many different ways. Because each time I listen to a song, I feel like I get a better grasp and a better understanding of what the Barbie movies do. And then they just veer off in the completely different direction. First off, it's a mermaid tale. Uh, she didn't seem to be a mermaid. She was a surfer. Love that. Is it like, oh, she's so good and she's so fit for the ocean that she may as well be a mermaid. But especially coming off the back of those two other songs, which have more of like a classical or musical sound. This is just such a veer. I'm getting whiplash in a very good way. I don't know if whiplash is ever, it's, it's good here. You know, in saying that, it's occurred to me that I might be in for even more whiplash because we're switching movies again. This one is from Barbie, Princess Charm School. I'll be real, I don't know what that means as a title. <laughs> is it a school to teach princesses to be more charming? Or to teach them charms, like spells? At any rate, it's called On Top of the World. Oh, okay, so it is like a manners school? Damn. She poured that so high. Why did she shake her head? She's like, no, 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 no. She didn't spill any. I couldn't do that. Also, I think I was right. I'm preparing my neck because I'm ready for whiplash. I don't even know what sound I'd call this. Like, R&B vibes? I, don't have the balance. I was ready for bars, man. Wish I had the That's so good. Oh, the, 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 the strings. What an interesting sound for a Barbie movie. I am like all in, I'm ready. Oh my God, that's a lot of sugar. That's like me drinking coffee. There's so much instrumental here. If she speeds up with some lyrics, I will die. Oh, it's so dramatic. I love this. Oh my God. This could hit so good. I'm running out of ways to say what? My head just explodes. I can't handle these songs, man. The sound of this chorus is something that I would just add to my Spotify playlist and listen to of my own accord and you're telling me this is from a Barbie movie? Oh, that's us. I love that little high note too. I really hope we get another repeat of that chorus. I would love to see what they do, especially if they harmonize it. Oh no, I don't know if we'll have time. Oh, that's so good. I like how sparse the lyrics are too. Oh, what a cool line. Trying once is easy, but discipline is hard. This is like good messages everywhere, man. Oh yes, we are gonna get another. Oh. Everything's depending on me. The layers. What are you gonna do with it? Come on, give me. Me. Oh, I was about to say that I was hoping they would do some harmony layers. I'm not quite sure if they were there or if it was reverb, but I was imagining it. But I felt like there was just a high note in the background somewhere. Oh, there was. 
Excuse me? Give me that song. Give me it. In full version. Give me big, everything. $3,000 million budget. Give me. I want it. Oh, dude. I'm not going to lie. I just love that I love these songs. They've been such a surprising but welcome addition to my life. And we're going to close out this video with yet another change in movie. This one is from Barbie and the Diamond Castle. It's called Two Voices, One Song. It didn't occur to me when I added this song to the playlist, but uh, I feel like we're going to get some harmonies. Hell yeah. Oh, is it gonna be like acoustic guitar and voices? So rare to find a oh, friend that's so like cute, man. When you're oh, that's a different voice as well. Blue. I'll say I'm already on board with the content of this. There aren't enough platonic love songs. The way we talk, the things you say, the way you make. <laughs> Why is this so sweet? And how you know all of my jokes, oh. but you laugh anyway. This is, ah, uh, this is also just so adorable. Bobby, stop making me just like happy to be alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sentence just came out of my mouth. I didn't really think too hard about it. If I could wish for one thing. Whoa, that's high. I take the smile that you bring. Uh -huh. Wherever you go in this world, I'll come along. There are like two layers in this voice, high and extremely high harmonies. God. It's sweet and beautiful. Oh, what a nice note. This is so wholesome. Oh, it's just, it's just pretty. It's nice, it's happy, it makes me just filled with joy. I know that I said that angrily, but I promise you I'm happy about it. Together we dream the same dream. Oh, is, is this where the mirror song thingy was? And anywhere you are, you know I'll be around. I'm just turning into a broken record, not just in this song, but across the whole video. It's just, it's cute. I love it. I listen for the sound. <laughs> what a, I love that friendship. What a cute friendship. I take the smile that you bring wherever you go in this world. I'll come along. Although, <laughs> even though I've been saying this whole time, oh, there's not enough platonic love songs. Is this a platonic love song? It feels quite romantic and sweet and <laughs> a, Do they make the the buy flag colors? <laughs> I mean, I guess they did say a friend like you at the start, but either way, it's just sweet. Forever I'm here for you, you're here for me. <sighs> How do people have such lovely voices? Oh, 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 two voices, one song. That note harmony. And holding it like that, it sounds so good. Well, it's nice to see that the tradition of Barbie movies blowing me away has not been broken. Man, I was pretty sure that I was gonna love like every song from this video, but I'm still just shocked by the emotion it can make me feel. It's just amazing to think of the impact that music can have, man. Now that I'm at the end of this video, I'm relaxed, I'm chill, I'm happy. Normally I'm ready to just turn my camera off, turn my lights off and just deflate and die in my bed. But all I wanna do is embrace the world. I wanna be positive, I'm happy. I hope it's not just me. I hope you're feeling the same way too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.